Hey guys, we are back to discuss my DCS World graphics settings for the HP Reverb Pro. First off, this video is primarily intended for new Reverb users that need guidance on how to change settings and improve their DCS World VR experience. As of this video, DCS World is at version 2.5.6. My current settings are based on two major resources, Thud's VR for DCS, and the recent VR optimization videos 2.5.5 and 0.6. A couple of things to keep in mind. Thud's guide was written last year in August, September 2019, and there have been a couple of subtle changes to the Steam VR menu user interface. As for the VR optimization video guides, start with the 2.5.5 video to understand what you are changing, but assuming you are optimizing your VR experience for 2.5.6, Use the shaders in the 0.6 video. Links are posted below in the description field. One last disclaimer, we all have different hardware and software configurations, so I cannot guarantee these will be the best for your computer. Your mileage may vary. Also, if you notice something that works for you and it could benefit the DCS community, please let us know in the comment section below. Okay, let's talk about my settings, starting off with the Windows Mix Reality Portal. Clicking on Headset Display, visuals are set to very high. The resolution is 4320 by 2160, which is the native resolution of the headset. My IPD is under calibration, which happens to be 64. That is also usually the sweet spot for most VR headsets. And last, but the most important part, is the refresh rate under Experience Options. When you first get the headset, it's set to automatic, but you can change this to 60 or 90 depending on the capabilities of your video card. A 2080 Ti can plenty support 90 Hz. If you're having trouble with performance, lag, stutters, ghosting, you may want to lower this to 60. Make sure you click on save, and that's it. Next, let's talk about my Steam VR settings. In the General tab, the resolution per eye can be manually set after selecting Custom. This is your Super Sampling or Pixel Density setting. 150% is the default setting. This may be plenty for most users, so you may not want to touch this. If you're experiencing slow frames or stutters, start off with 100% and work your way up 10-20% to at a time to find that sweet spot. One thing to note on this tab is the refresh rate. If you see a refresh rate that is different than your selected refresh rate in the Windows Mixed Reality Portal, that is a known bug in the software. In Windows Device Manager, you'll need to manually disable the headset, then re-enable it, then fire it Mixed Reality Portal and Steam VR. This may happen all the time or just some of the time. Next is the Advanced Reprojection File and Steam VR. Thud's guide goes into detail on where the file is located and how to enable it. What this feature does is smooth out your VR experience if you are seeing a slideshow. With reprojection off, your frames will potentially be higher, but you will likely experience ghosting and stuttering on various maps, typically at low altitudes around high density scenery like downtown areas and airports. With reprojection on, enforcing motion vector, I see a solid and capped 45 frames per second and a completely smooth picture in most situations, single and multiplayer. While some folks are just not happy with 45 frames per second, it works for me. It's smooth and I don't experience any motion sickness or any other graphical anomalies. It's a balance that you will need to experiment with. In DCS World, the VR settings are straightforward. Pixel density is set to 1.0. Because I've already set my super sampling to 160% or 1.6 pixel density in Steam VR, I don't want to move this up as this will continue to multiply the resolution and bog down the computer. My system settings closely match those listed in the VR optimization videos. One of the biggest hits on performance is MSAA. Mine is off. If you see jaggies or shimmering, select two times to smooth out the edges. With my current super sampling rate of 160%, the shimmering is minimal, and I really only notice it if I'm looking for it, and that's just an external views. 
Another big hit on performance is visibility range. I used to run high and ultra, but that's just taxing your system. It doesn't give you any advantage while in combat or spotting the meatball further out. I recommend setting this to medium. And along with the screenshot of my settings in this video, I've posted my settings in the description field below. I hope this video helps the new Reverb users out there struggling to find optimization in DCS world. As you can see, the Reverb requires a bit of extra work to dial in. But once dialed in, the VR experience is awesome. As mentioned before, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and if you have any suggestions to help the DCS community optimize their VR experience. Thanks for watching. See ya.